Good day. The said television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Sons of Western Armenia, Gevork Vartanian, on the issue of the Armenians of Western Armenia, Azerbaijan desecrated the Church of San Amina Perkich Ghazan Chetot Shushi. Compliance with the blinding ICG order must be a precondition for any EU Azerbaijan cooperation, Martin Sonnenberg. Situation in the villages of Shushi. In Barcelona, I presented the crimes committed during divorce unleashed by Azerbaijan Arman Tatoyan. All Armenian schoolgirls participating in the third European Girls Olympiad in informatics returned with medal. Gevork Vartanian was born in Gyumri. At the age of six, he moved to the Altai region of the Russian Federation. When he turned 18, he returned to Armenia for compulsory military service in the village of Talish, Martakert region. During this time, he became a hero of the April War and served as a member of Senior Legion and Horaj Galician's platoon. In April 2016, during combat operations in the Talish direction on the Artsakh Azerbaijan border, Gevork and his comrades successfully neutralized an enemy's destructive group and recaptured four positions occupied by the enemy. Tragically, Gevork sacrificed himself by protecting his fellow soldiers from an enemy tank's attack. On April 4, he and Haraj Galician were killed during clashes near the village of Talish. In recognition of his bravery and sacrifice, Georg Vartanian was posthumously awarded the War Service Medal by the President of Artsakh and the Courage Medal by the President of Armenia. In Armenian tradition, the pomegranate carries profound symbolism representing life, prosperity, fertility, and marriage. Its many grains symbolized fertility and it was believed that breaking a pomegranate to count the seeds could reveal the number of children a bride would have. Pomegranate symbolism extended to various aspects of Armenian culture, including architecture, art, and film. While it was once worshipped during the Kingdom of Ararat, its significance evolved with the advent of Christianity. In Christianity, the pomegranate symbolizes Jesus Christ, resurrection, God's grace, the Virgin Mary, and the Church overall. The pomegranate holds a diverse and significant meaning, signifying both the Old Testament's bitterness and the sweetness of the Gospels and salvation in Armenian exegetical literature. Another irrefutable proof of cultural genocide carried out by Azerbaijan at the state level has been reported on social networks by the cultural ombudsman of Haik. We are talking about the Ghazan Chetos Church in Shushi. We will touch upon it in more detail in the near future, the organization said. According to German MIP Martin Sonnenborn, the situation in Artsakh created by the closure of the Berzo Road by Baku is disastrous and unacceptable. In an interview with Armen Press correspondent in Brussels, Sonnenborn said, Although the European Parliament, the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe and many governments have called on Azerbaijan to open the Berzo Road, Azerbaijan continues to tighten the blockade and does not even allow the International Committee of Red Cross to deliver humanitarian aid. The International Court of Justice, the UN's judicial body, has declared it legally binding that Baku must facilitate the unimpeded movement of goods and people through the Berzo Road. The European Parliament has called for sanctions against Baku government officials if they do not comply with the court ruling, while European Council President Charles Michel recently welcomed the Baku authorities' offer to provide humanitarian aid. This is a terrible signal because Baku is once again being rewarded for its failure to comply with international law. The implementation of a binding judgment of the International Court of Justice must be preconditioned for any EU-Azerbaijan cooperation. As a result of the closure of the Hakari Bridge on the Artsakh Armenian border by the Baku authorities, the residents of the villages of Yechtzahok, Hinshen, Medshen, and Lisagor in the Shushi region found themselves in a complete blockade, deprived of the possibility of reaching the capital Stepanaget or the city of Goris. Until April 23, when the checkpoint was set up, villagers were able to bring the supplies and food they needed from the capital or Goris, but now villagers survive on Red Cross or government assistance. According to David Davtian, the head of the Medshen village, the situation in the villages is slightly better than in the capital Stepanagert, as villagers can use the fruits and vegetables they grow, but the situation is critical in terms of medicine and fuel. According to the village headman, cars are no longer used in the village because of the lack of fuel. People walk to their distant fields, distant gardens. We don't have fuel for equipment, so we can't move to Lowe's. The big fields have dried up. 
Last week, as part of a working visit to Barcelona, I also met with the leadership of the Bar Association. This was announced by Arman Tatoyan, the former human rights defender of the Republic of Armenia and director of the Center for Law and Justice Tatoyan Foundation. Arman Tatoyan said, During the meeting, I presented the crimes committed by Azerbaijan during the wars against the Republic of Armenia and Artsakh in 2016, 2020, and 2022. As a result of these crimes, Azerbaijan has occupied the territory of the Republic of Armenia and is blockading 120,000 people. All of this is the result of the Azerbaijani government's policy of Armenian hatred and hostility. The crimes committed are encouraged by the Baku authorities instead of being punished in Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. At the moment, Azerbaijan has completely isolated Artsakh and its people, 120,000 people from the world, and continues its policy of Armenian hatred and genocide. People are deprived of the basic means to live safely and humanly in their homeland. The meeting was attended by members of the Union's Commissions on Human Rights and Criminal Justice, Women's Commissions, and the President of the UN for Spain Association. The organization of the meeting was supported by Vice President Emma Hakopian, a member of the Executive Board of the Union. This year, European Girls' Computer Olympiad was held in Lund, Sweden on July 15-21 to with the participation of 189 students from 52 countries. The Olympiad was held in two stages. The Armenian team was represented by four students, three from private school of physics and mathematics named after Shahinyan and one from the seminary named after Shirakati. Filia Geikian, a 12th grader from the private school of physics and mathematics, won a silver medal, while Mari Badalian, R.P. Prazian and Susanna Grigorian, students from the Shirakati Seminary, won bronze medals. The Armenian team was led by Armen Andreasian and Samvel Andreasian. Thank you for your time and attention. Now the musical part, the Armenian folk song.